strength can feel strong. Hey everybody, Coldblood FTW here. Just wanted to bring you a quick review of the new Porsche, and I am confirming that it is the new fastest tuner car. But um, I do want to point out that it's definitely the driver, not the car. Um, maybe not the best car for you to drive, and I will explain that as we do a quick little review here. There's the Jester RR, I think it is, or something, which was the former fastest tuner car. So here we are racing at the airport, and you can see the Euros doesn't really matter, just my friend Wolf is there. <laughs> but um, you can see off the line, it's definitely faster. And once again, it's, you know, the driver, not the car. Um, if you know how to drive, this is a really good car. for It's the best car for the tuners, probably, um, if you're a really good driver. And I do mean really good, because you'll be slipping out like crazy with this if you're not. Um, I highly recommend the Calico if you're not. That car is extremely fast. It's the third fastest now. Um, as you can see off the line again, it just, you know, buries it. You can see that the Jester almost wants to keep up with it. So it's just like slightly faster. I like to do our races down in the sewers here better than the, the airport, to be honest. But you can see um, it just barely keeps up to it. Like it's maybe even close to the same top speed, but uh, this one is definitely the faster one. So a smidgen faster on the top speed. You can see he's having a, or starting to go a little bit further away from me now, now that we're going full tilt. And uh, there goes John. <laughs> awesome. Um, for just driving around, like I said, you know, like, yeah, it is the fastest car, but that's a straight line, right? So, um, if you are just, you know, want to use it, like I said, as your new tuner car, um, you got to be a good driver. The brakes are really good on it, I will uh, say that. Um, but if you think you're just going to fly around corners and, you know, e-brake with this thing, it's not going to happen. Um, not that you can e-brake with the Calico, but it's just so much better for whipping around, you know, quick corners. Like, if there was a race with a lot of turns, the Calico would probably beat this car. And uh, most cars, if not all the tuner cars, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, I highly recommend this car, and uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Take care. Thanks for watching.